turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to mount some glass, my friends. There you are over there somewhere. And here I am. You could probably, I don't know if you can see it or not, but sometimes you can catch my reflection in the, uh, yeah, you can see me wave my fingers in, in the, uh, in the didymium lens there. Now I put a didymium lens over the camera, so that'll help in the long run. But today, we're going to do a hollow donut. And you can use these hollow donuts in many, many ways. One of them, of course, is you can put them in your, um, you can put them in your uh, pendant pieces and or whatever hollow things you want to make. That's your prerogative. And one of the things you're going to need is these guys right here. These are what I call my uh, buttonhole pinchers that I made. And I might not, well anyway, I have the URL. I will put the URL down below that where you can find to make, or, or make these on your own or you can buy them. I'm pretty sure they're out there somewhere. But these turn out to be really, really handy for what we're about to do. And without further ado, let's get into this, right? Right. There we are. Fire. Okay. First of all, why is it? I don't know. It wants to adjust. The, the camera wants to adjust to the lens right there instead of. Maybe if I tilted it up a little bit, and got it beyond. There we go. There you are. Now you're a little bit beyond that, so we'll see how that goes. Right, right. So, got some hollow tubing. This is some that I've made from scratch, and I've got a video that I can. Uh, I'll put a link to that to show you what I did there. But you can actually take tubing that's already made, deal with it that way, and it make it make it a little easier to do the job with. But this is just what I had available. Something I was playing with and did yesterday. So, now here's a cool thing for you. I'm going to score this. And I score it by using it. You can use a tungsten, tungsten bit, or whatever. You can see that little scratch on there. Wet it. Score it 12 o'clock, fingers at uh, six o'clock, and press away from you, and boom. Sweet little thing to deal with. Now here we go. I'm only going to do one of these, but actually no, I'm going to do two of these and put them together. With that, we're going to need uh, this and uh, this. You see, I can clean my table by just putting it out of the way. <laughs> I can't help it. I am a clutter freak. It's just the way I do things get the job done, have some interesting art, but I clutter a lot. Can't help it. Maybe if I had a southern bell to come in and ring my chimes or something, who knows. <laughs> Might get a little better at one thing or another, right? Okay, here we go. I think it's warm enough now. I'm going to go ahead and blow that end off right there. And that'll become apparent real quick. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it right on there. Do it the hard way. Each one of these. I'm going to need a couple of these. One of the, There's one of them I'll use. And where's another? There's another one I'll use. Yeah, I can use that one. Since that's all I need, that'll work. I'll probably only need one, but... We'll do this. Okay, so here you go. Blow hose might help too. And of course I've got it tangled around three other things that don't need to be tangled with, but it's tangled all the same. How I do it and how I can do it is private, but I can make, get it da -da, da -da, da -da, done that way. Yeah, I tell people, you could put 30 pegs in a yard, 30 pegs, and uh, in a backyard, 
and then you could tell me to drag those just tell me to drag a rope across that yard and try to get it tangled on one of those pegs and I couldn't do it to save my life but same scenario put only one peg in the backyard don't tell me it's there and tell me to drag that rope across that yard and I would get that rope tangled on that one peg without trying at least a half a dozen times without trying that's just the way my life goes most of the time okay I'm going to constrict it right about there and then I'm going to make a nice round bubble here tap that off goes getting up the temp rather thick wall sorry about the noise I'm using my cell phone for the camera and it does make noises telling me hey I've got an uh, incoming notice of some sort but life goes on right right it's just nice and round keep it round it's kind of heavy wall I make it that way for good reason. It's more durable that way. That should about do it. Nice round ball. And now I'm going to flatten it almost to a disc. Well, to a disc anyway. A little bit more, not much, but it's right about the right temperature and doing really, really well. Now, to get this is baby right here. You ready? Widen it around it and press it in, and now you're sort of pressing it in, and I'm turning it, and you heard that crunching noise. I think you heard it. you might not have, but if you didn't, that's okay but there's a, it, you sort of seal you puncture a hole through it and you seal it up with the tube being so hot and it makes a donut hole and you can widen that a little bit flare it out okay and then you can take a, a graphite rod and even flare it out some more I'm going to make sure this rod goes all the way to it, so i got to make sure I heat it up quite nicely. There it goes. Okay. Now I'm going to blow that off of this piece right here for a short short. Then I'll put it back on in a minute, but still i got to take it off so now I can concentrate on the next one. Bring it down, bring it down. There we go. Let's flare that out just enough so that when all I have to do is bring them back together. Squeezers. There we go. Oh, where'd it go? Cleaned up. Push things further back than I thought. Okay. Flare that out just a little bit. Now that one's ready to be attached in just a second. Now I could put it in the oven to keep it warm, but it should be okay for what I'm going to do. If not, you'll see later.
Now I'm going to do the same thing one more time. About right there will be good. down. Actually, let's sharpen this up and make a little bit more noise. There we go. That'll get it done a little faster. Just a little. Just a little bit. I'm stricking it out a little bit by sucking in. Now we're gonna make this into a ball, just like I did the last one. Oh, darn. Whoa, it's a lot of it. <laughs> Life happens though, doesn't it? There we go. Just a little wider and thin out just here at the top. Round it out a little more. And it flatten it just like it did the last one. Oh, that came off, but okay. We'll deal with it. Oop, I already sort of sealed the two sides together. That was interesting. But that's okay since I'm already going to be making a hole there anyway. Put it in. Break it down. Widen the hole. Collapsed in on itself, but it did the job. nice round hole and you can want sort of again ream it out a little bit with the graphite rod flatten it out a little bit here on the top what I want to do Got a little thick there, but doable. I'm gonna leave it. Because I can, that's why. Now to get back to this one. I'm gonna hold it with this. Turn that around a little bit, see if I can't put it back at the cold well where I had it before. Quick cold well tip. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. I'm going to blow in the hole first, but that's okay. It cracked, but it's still in one piece at the moment. I think it's going to survive too.
again you can uh, use just one of these and make a nice little pendant piece out of it add some color or something to the inner inner donut or whatever this is what I had in mind with it you know so like I used to do this with straws all the time pinch it one way and then pinch it the other and then pinch it the other way back and forth looks pretty cool and I used it in a method of making a tobacco pipe and this is what I did with it oh that's not it where to go what the Ooh, it is okay this is what I did worked it in did a good job but again you can make it for pendant pieces um, hollow pieces interesting vase if you wanted to do it same idea oh, it's a little bit more crack to deal with Just some ideas. Something to do that you didn't do five minutes ago. That's the whole idea of what I'm trying to do with my episodes here. If you have any questions or comments or uh, what you want to do, give me a shout out down below. Um, if you have a, an idea for an up and coming show, there's one more show that I have in mind that I probably will do very, very shortly um, dealing with soft glass. And I'm actually going to take a soda bottle. Actually, it's a it's a, a, a sparkling wine bottle and I'm going to break it down and only using tools to try to make rod and also try to make um, tubing to play with from scratch and see how it works and you will see that in the next video so something to look forward to and again if you have any questions any comments or ideas that you'd like to see me try to do uh, the worst I can say is no but nine times out of ten, I'd have to say a good, uh, a good, I'd say a good 60 to 80 percent of what I do is what people have asked me to do or something that I feel like you guys really could get something out of it. Don't forget to click like, also click subscribe guys. I am finally getting up there and yes, this week I was going to and I'm, I, I, I'm going to do it Monday, I promise. We're going to have a drawing. I reached over a thousand, three thousand subscribers, and it's about time that I had a drawing up for it. So, uh, with that, carpe vitro, and enjoy your day.